Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome back to the Cult of Vintage. So today's video, we are at the Firehouse Marketplace in downtown Sealands Grove, Sealands Grove, Pennsylvania. We have been here before. We are today on a little bit of a time crunch, not a huge one. It is exactly 10.03 a.m. I have to be to work. Ideally, I would like to be there no later than 11. Thankfully, work is only five minutes from where we currently are. So I'm gonna keep it short. We're gonna get in here. We're gonna find um, hopefully some good stuff for resale or maybe even the collection. No, for resale only. Only resale Michael. We're trying to be good. We're committed. I'm saying it. It's on video. Hold me accountable. Okay, see you inside. <laughs> All right, guys, here is the exterior. We're gonna probably keep this one a little bit faster because we're on a mission. We're not playing around today. I'm gonna try to keep you at eye level today. Ooh. Crafting grab bags, feel free to dig. Okay. <laughs> it's a bunch of yarn. Ooh, what happened to you? Those are kind of cute. And they have like the inset eyes. It's a dollar. For how many? That's the softer vinyl too. That's not bad. I think we're gonna go ahead and get this one. Because we can add these to a reef. Now the other stuff is, unfortunately, it's not gonna fit any of our intended purposes, but 50 cents for each of the doll heads. We can add that to a reef. Yeah, so we'll do that. Um, don't know that I see anything. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, I actually found an old Rolling Stone. It is Friends. It is from May of 1995. Check it out. That is such an iconic cover. It seems to be in really good condition. So I am gonna get that one. There is, you know, if you're a 90s kid, you know who this man is, Trent Reznor, Nine Inch Nails. Now this one is from September of, I'm gonna let you focus over there. Ooh, that one's 94. Now it is in pretty rough condition. So I'm probably gonna leave that one. Here's a green day. Whew, it's humid out here, y'all. This one's from January of 95. Green Day. Nirvana. I'm gonna get that. Led Zeppelin. I do like Led Zeppelin, but... Eh. David Letterman, Trent Reznor, Tom Petty. This one's from 95 also. Moby. So I'm going to get these two. Alrighty guys, so here we are on the inside. It's not an inside job though. Now I did see this yep, made in Japan. I thought it was interesting, the kind of mm, modernistic sculpt to it. Um, it's it's very geometric rather than being much more of like an organic or realistic sculpt. I did decide to leave it behind just simply because it was very specific to an ashtray. Now, I know a lot of people will use it as a trinket dish or a ring dish. Um, and there are people out there that definitely collect ashtrays. Um, it just really wasn't speaking to me, I guess. Didn't have that wow factor, folks. The wow factor. Now, I did spot, oh yes, I did, 
some more craft supplies. And we've got, um, it is what, four different kinds, no, pardon me, three different kinds. I love those very Art Deco sculpted reindeer. $2, heck yeah, we're gonna use this for our wreaths, undoubtedly. Um, but there was like the soft rubber and then like the old school white, like almost celluloid. It's not celluloid. It's plastic. Um, you know, his antlers were both broken off. But again, that's an easy hide in a wreath. So I did decide to go ahead and pick them up. It's a crafty kind of day here. And you are seeing a lot of new or newer items. There's Groot. I mean, he definitely was new. So I do make a little turn here into this particular booth. This vendor has had some amazing finds. And the thing that I always check out is this ball and claw. It is a bitters bottle. It is marked at $20. Now I have purchased a uh, ball and claw bitters bottle before. It was an amethyst glass. It did very well. I just don't want to spend $20 on it. And of course you do see the Fenton custard lily pad. Uh, those are uranium, so they will fluoresce. Jump. <laughs> I will say in this video, this is the only regret that I have. These were both the Lefton, and they do have their foil stickers. The Lefton Rabbits, uh, they were $5 each. There is really good value on them. I actually own these, both the white and the brown. I probably should have gotten those. They could go for about $20 each. And I did see these roosters. They were reading a little too new. I think they were cute, um, especially in a Christmas display. But mm, this wasn't feeling it, folks. Again, it didn't have that wow factor. And those very well could have been uh, left in the roosters. And I always check out the figurines. Um, I'm a sucker for a good figurine, truth be told. That horse one was interesting. It just didn't really, meh. again, no wow. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> Here we are in the dollar section. Who doesn't love a good dollar section? I mean, come on. Whether you're a collector or a reseller, I think that we all pay close attention to those dollar sections. Unfortunately, I have really cleaned this dollar section out and they haven't really restocked or added anything new. Nothing that I haven't seen before. Uh, so it was just a quick browse. I don't know if you remember it. It was several weeks ago. We were here and there was the green apple, uh, the aluminum canister set, and I didn't get it simply because of the shipping. And look, they have more. This is a tin um, cake cover. I thought that was absolutely lovely. It would make a nice display piece in like a spring collection. But somebody did end up getting those apple canister sets. And I say good on you. Those would make a great display. Again, we have been here before. Um, I have seen this chicken. It is Italian. It has obviously been hand painted. The colors are fantastic. And the reason I did not get it is because that it was repaired. Uh, the tail feather was broken off and glued back on. Now it was a really good repair. I mean, it's priced only at $3. However, I was just like, uh, I don't know if people are going to want it. You know, you can see that repair again, really good. However, in the comment sections, people were like, no, I would have gotten it. I would have bought it. Oh, you should have gotten that. You guys, I listened and today it was still here. So we ended up picking it up. Now, again, you are seeing some newer items mixed in with some vintage items, um, you know, this is a vendor mall, I would say. I wouldn't necessarily call it an antique store. Um, and that is totally okay. Uh, if if the new stuff kind of overrode the vintage stuff, truth be told, I probably wouldn't shop here as much as I do. I did like this little teapot here. It's very Majolica-esque. You know, I don't think it's original Majolica, but... Now this vendor has had some interesting things before, so I always, again, do like to pay attention. And they do uh, refresh quite often. And the first thing that caught my eye were those eyes. I mean, just like, a little derpy. <laughs> little googly eyes. 
and it is the circus animals google-eyed and then i noticed down at it's a nutmeg book and it said my eyes not only move they glow in the dark folks they glow in the dark how would you like those eyes peering out at you in the middle of the night <laughs> night terror circus time means for fun but does it though i mean these poor animals what are you doing to them at the circus oh Yep, look, see, I was kind. I skipped right over that clown. I sure did. Look at these animals. <laughs> what did you give them? They're putting a little salt something in the food, y'all. Um, the binding. It was off of the binding. So that's truth be told why I skipped the clown page. I wasn't going to be as nice. I was going to zoom in on it, truth be told. And, you know, but the pages were falling out of out of the spine. And then I did, of course, see this Roseville. I am not that familiar with Roseville, and it, they, you know, have it priced at twenty five dollars and chipped. They did clearly mark it. Um, there were two chips actually, because I was like, well, if I can hide the one, I'm getting that for twenty five bucks. Uh, but it is chipped on both sides, so he did decide to go ahead and leave it. I know that there are a lot of Roseville fans. I'm not the biggest Roseville fan. I'm not lying. And of course you have the, what is this? The Franciscan Rose, Desert Rose, something Rose. It is Franciscan. You know, they're only $5. Look, I've seen these things be sold time and 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 time again at $5 for a collector. I think that that's more than an amazing price. It is a deal. It's a steal. Um, but again, I really am trying to focus on more unique items um not that there's anything wrong per se with you know if another reseller had them and wanted to sell them do it up um you know you you got to go with what works and what sells i just i don't know they weren't again what's the word of the day folks what's the word of the day do you know what it is it's wow <laughs> it didn't have that wow factor so i left them obviously <laughs> Uh, a mess. Mm, yeah, no purple glitter. No Fenton amber. Meh. And we are headed into the next room here. Again, we, we got to be quick. I had to be to work and I made it on time. I know you all were so worried, but I did. I made it on time. Not to fear. And I did see this Fenton uh, hobnail swung vase. It is stamped Fenton. So it is a newer Fenton piece. You know, it was priced at only $10. I would have liked it if it had been like $5, I would have um, picked it up. I think that, you know, resale value, um, you know, you might have been looking at anywhere from 20 to $30, just depending on who was looking at it at the time. Um, I do think that a lot of times milk glass can be a little underrated, um, but eh, again, it didn't have that wow factor. Now, what did catch my eye were these vegetable salt and pepper shakers. It's the color really that was speaking to me. You know, we have celery, we have corn, we have carrots. Um, so I did run some quick comps just to see maybe if they were by a specific manufacturer. They were not. So I did decide to leave them behind. I know, right? But I did see these mushrooms. Now, these mushrooms, you know, great mid-century colors. It really is reading more 68 through 78. They were stamped Japan. Um, people love them some mushrooms. Just a little bit of paint flecking there on the top. Um, so I, at $2, heck yeah, I'm going to pick them up. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing much, not seeing much. Again, I do frequent, um, this particular business quite often. So we do know at a glance kind of what they do or don't have. Um, I do see these moose creamers. I always look, I don't know why, Michael, it's not going to grow an antler. It's ceramic. Like, let it go. It's still damaged. <laughs> It's 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 not growing its horn back, Michael. It ain't gonna happen. But I do love the sculpt on them. I think those would be great in a fall display with like some dried florals or wheat 
sunflowers coming out of them. Very striking, if you ask me. A lot of bears. No, no, we don't want bears. No, thank you. Uh, I think maybe sometime this sugar and creamer set, I, it's going to strike me. I'm going to end up buying it because I always do look at that. Um, today was not the day. Here we do have some Mexican pottery. Cancun. Uh, you know, the tourist pieces I typically stray away from simply because they are so specific. Um, unless somebody can equate them to, a, if they live there or if they can equate them to a specific memory. I typically do stay away from them. Because again, people are like, well, I don't want it to say Cancun. I've never been there. And then there's no interest in the overall product. So I know some people do very well with tourist pieces. Um, but again, it just doesn't, it doesn't interest me. I think that there was some wow factor on there. I always love those very, um, like the majolica, the lead base. I love those overly saturated colors. And then we're going to jump. Oh, look, we're back to the vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> and something was just nagging at me and it was the carrots that was really nagging at me. Um, I just loved the richness of the color. And again, they were priced at only $2. Um, I thought it would be great in a kitchen and a fall display. I did leave the celery and the corn behind. Um, if anything, I think the celery would have been the ones that I had picked up, but we definitely got the carrots. All right, guys, we're going to do a quick overview of the things we got. So we got our mushrooms, our carrots, of course. We got our blue Italiana chicken. We've got our craft supplies and our Rolling Stone magazines. Creepy doll heads. I think it'll make a great art project. And now as the gentleman was checking me out, I have a tendency to, to look around and then I found it. This great amber little nubbin feet swung vase. It was priced at only $7, so I most definitely picked it up. It was on the bottom shelf, and I just happened to look down, um, and I snagged that up. Sure did. Well, guys, that's it for today, and I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to wrap it up in the car. Well, guys, I have to say, was it a short trip? Sure was. Did I think that we made the most of it? Sure do. We got some crafting supplies. That's always a bonus in my book. We've got some reading material with those vintage Rolling Stones. And there is some pretty significant value, especially on that Friends magazine. From what I could see just on a quick search, there's only one listed right now. And it's being actively bid on. It's at $30 plus shipping. I mean, hey. Um... The Italian rooster, really cute. I'm glad I decided to get the carrots and check those out. There was just something speaking to me. Interestingly enough, they were a Japan piece. The mushrooms, what else did we get? Oh my gosh, how about that last minute score for that amber glass swung little nubbin footed uh, vase? Adorable, it was only $7. Of course we're gonna get that. So all in all, I think we were in there for maybe 20 minutes. We did a great job. So I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a quick one, but sometimes you got to make the most of what little time you got. Um, so yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed. And remember, until next time, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.